You aren't just Stephen's best friend. Your families are best friends. You celebrated holidays together. How's the family tonight? You know, we're grieving. We're, we're trying to be very supportive, be there for each other. Um, obviously, we're still in a state of shock and it completely devastated by the whole situation. Can you talk a little bit about Stephen's work in the Middle East? Tell us about that if you can. You know, Stephen, you know, he he's very passionate about what was going on in the Middle East. He, you know, he, he was there for the people. It was never a political issue for him. He wanted to make sure that he could get his point across, that everybody would know what is going on over there. He didn't mean any harm for any of the work or any of the articles that he's written. And, you know, he, he just really was there to be very supportive of, you know, trying to make a statement on what was happening. Yeah. Obviously, it was his passion to go into these very dangerous places, no doubt. They were very dangerous. But did he ever express concern about his work or the places to which he was traveling? Absolutely. Um, he, he, he knew that there were... It was extremely dangerous, and there were some consequences that would happen. But he felt like this was his passion. This was something that he, he felt like he needed to do. Um, he needed to deliver a message. And uh, he, he knew exactly what was going to go on. And, and you know, he, he did a great job being able to inform all of us on what was, go what was happening. So the last time he traveled to Syria, was there any concern from you? Was there any concern from the family and from him? Absolutely, it's it's understandable that we you know we all knew um, how dangerous it was getting overseas, and 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 you know we obviously expressed that to Stephen, um, but you know he there wasn't really anything that we could do to really get in the way of something that he wanted to accomplish, and this was something that he felt like he had to be there. He always put other people in front of him. Um, he never thought about himself, so this was a you know a trip that he, he had to make. Does it provide you any comfort? Uh, in the reaction that you're getting to his death. There's an outpouring of love and support, and really everyone around the world is horrified by this. Absolutely. We, we, we can't thank everyone enough for all their support and love and comfort that they've shown not only the Salah family, but to the, their family and their friends. Um, this is who Stephen is. He, anyone that has met him says that he's a, he's a, good, he's a good, great guy, always thought about others, and, and just kind of shows you the outpour uh, of support and love that people are showing uh, the Saloff family. It's, it's unbelievable, and we couldn't imagine this, and, and we're very thankful. And Justin, just to continue on with a little, a little bit with that, you know, his passion was telling other people's stories. So how would you like for him to be remembered? I want him to be remembered as a guy filled with courage, honor, and all of that loyalty. Um, me personally, it, it's, it's brotherhood. He's always put other people ahead of himself, and that is something that I want to be remembered as, as someone who really you know, fought for what he believed in, followed his passion, and did everything in his power to do the right thing, and we feel like he has.